Okay, it's going to look at the averages. So what we do is we take the percentage of wins, multiply that times the dollars that we win, then we subtract the percentage losses times the dollar losses. And yes, you can use pips for this. Um, you just have to me make the mental adjustments. Now, there's one of the cool things about this is if, if we have, let's say we're looking at taking two or three entries or we're looking at pyramiding. Pyramiding is basically where um, if you, you say you have the chart moving like this. You say, okay, if price gets up here, I'm going to buy. And then if price gets up here, I'm going to buy more. And if price gets up here, I'm going to buy even more. Okay, so that's pyramiding, moving up. The cool thing about this equation is it, it's not very difficult to factor in all of these and then come out with a total, and we'll deal with that uh, in just a few minutes. This, just so you know, this is going to be a brief overview. I know some of you might be chuckling about that whole brief word, but this is going to be a brief overview. We'll really dig into this in the, we the later webinars where we have some interaction so you can ask questions about this stuff. Okay, so what am I doing here? Well, first of all, I have this little range, okay? And this range is just to give me uh, an idea or uh, a key or a reminder that the British pound has an average range of 140 pips from high to low. And remember, that's from 5 p.m. Eastern Time to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? That's, this would be the open, then this would be the close, so uh, at 5, you know, oh, 01, essentially, that would be the open. Hello, there. Okay. Then here uh, I have the lots, and the lot, basically, it gives me a multiplier. Okay. The dollar per pip, again, it just gives me a multiplier. Then we come over here to the real work. Right. This is where I'm using the basic strategy of having two exits. Okay, remember in the course I talk about taking 80% uh, off and then 20 or 70, 30, or even going down to 50, 50. Okay, we take half off now, half off later. The question is always, well, which one of these is best? Well, the problem with that is we don't know. And there's no way for us to know until the past has already happened. So we won't know what the, best, uh, what the best ratio is going to be for the next trade until the next trade is over. And we can look back and say, oh, wow, I wish I would have put 50-50 on there. And that's, what, that's why at the live event, I talked about you will always be wrong in a trade. You'll never have enough of a, of a position on with a winning trade. You'll never have too small of a position on for a losing trade. You just have to be okay with that. This expectancy equation will help us to determine some of that. So let's go in here and uh, kind of play with some of these numbers. Right now, you can see I've got 10 lots uh, and zero lots. Okay? What this is saying is that the first exit, uh, I'm taking off all 10. Okay? And the second exit, I'm taking off none. And at... The first exit of 10 lots, I'm taking a profit at 15 pips, and I'm risking 22 and a half pips to get that. Okay, over here, these numbers really just don't matter. But what you can see is, um, if, if our winning ratio is 60%, uh, you can see here that's $150 or 150 pips, uh, if you will, because remember we have 10 lots, 15 pips, 40% losers, the loss is going to be 225, because remember, we're risking 22.5 to get that.